<laughs> Hello, you fine villains and the lovely villainesses. Today, we're going to be talking about boss fights in Warframe and what you'll need to know. But before then, please, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Whenever I upload, you will be the first to know. And with that out of the way, let's get on into this. Okay, so the very first boss we're going to go face is Captain Vor. And here's how it goes. So once you get to here, for Captain Vor, you simply walk up. And spank him multiple times. Now he will go into a little shell thing like this and summon a bunch of enemies. So you're going to have to go around and uh, kill him. But you'll have to do this multiple times. And once that's done, now it's time to leave. Now, following that assassinate mission, the next boss is here, located on Venus, called Fosa. He is the Jackal. And here's how you beat him. Now, once you've gotten in the mission and you've gotten to this area right here, and dealt with anyone else who gets in your way, No, oh, look at it. He's so adorable. Watch out, watch out. All right. Now, do you see the legs here? Like this one right here? You can aim at it. Once you do that, he's going to fly up. And you see these four laser walls? Make sure you stay in between them. Now, you'll hear his thing go up in octaves. Make sure you stay up in the air, because he's going to slam down. And then, hit him with the Parazon. Now, this is just one time. You have to do this four times. But we'll speed right on through it, just for you. Now moving on to the next fight is going to be the fight on Earth. Unfortunately right now there's a few spoiler things. No spoils here boys and girls, but this is Captain Vahek. Now I will say that this one is kind of interesting because when you walk in, this will happen. Now I will say this much, uh, as much as I would love to go and face him wherever he may show up, you don't have to. So right here, here he is, and you could fight him, or you can go through one of these uh, or tunnels and just go until you can't go no more. Just like that. On to the next area. Now, you will get to a part where you are at this pipe right here. All you gotta do, roll in. Now that we are here, now here's where the, fight, the actual fight begins. Now, you see that he has a mask, and then he doesn't have a mask. Whenever he does not have a mask, that's when you want to start shooting him in the face. So right now, mask, can't shoot on. And now at this point, he is going to start uh, coming on over here for his mech. Or what a lot of people call Turkey Bot. And now you just punish him. And just like that, boss fight's over. 
And now the best way to get out of here is through right here, just the way you came. And now for the next boss fight where we go up against Lieutenant Ledge Krill. Now, when you get up to this part right here, right up there is where he is going to spawn. So this one's a very interesting fight, but you want to get close enough to him so he keeps doing that. You don't want his, you want his hammer out at all times. Now see, right here now, you can't damage him whatsoever. But as you saw, as soon as he gets all cold like that, that's when you can damage him. And now, I can damage him. Well... The slash proc can kill him. I'll just finish the job. Now, the very next one I'm going to do, I'm going to save Demos uh, and Phobos because I'm just going to go straight into series. All of these will be marked. But yes, we're going to go right into series because two of them we've done before. And now we get to do them simultaneously. Now, as soon as you get to this area right here, they will be at the top there. So let's go in and destroy them. And just like that, he didn't stand a chance against the awesome might of... Not me. But me! So let's, not, let's move on to the next one. Now, the very next boss fight we are going to be facing are two here on Jupiter. The first one will be Algae down here, but the second one will be the Ropalist. The Ropalist, I will say right now, is a spoiler alert. I will say it again when we go over it, but right now, Alad V needs to have his salad tossed. What? What the fuck? Now, eventually, you will get to this long hallway. And when I say long hallway, I do mean long hallway because they are way up there. Now, the key about this fight is there are two bosses. You have Zanuka and you have Alad V. You have to kill them at the same time. So what I like to do is trap one with the other. One will go try to save the other and they'll try to revive each other. So you just kind of have to make sure one goes down and then stop the other before it, it revives. Similar to the two boats from Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. The legendary ones, where you had to take down both of them at the same time. It's roughly the exact same thing. So the very next one is going to be the Ropalist. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is a spoiler alert. If you have not done, or is, if you cannot do this one, please stop now. You have been warned. Alright, so once you've made it through most of the mission, you're going to come to this room. And you're going to go right on over to here. And this is where the fun begins. Now, as you can see right now, there's no way I can deal damage to this thing. There, You'll see that there's three areas way over there and way over there. So the idea is you want to take this thing all the way over there. And when you see those electrical things, make sure you jump over them. Now, when you're over here, they are going to go right and do a beam attack but you want to stand behind this and wait for that beam attack beam attack to end when you do then you run for it and you want to do that for all of these all right now that we have all these charged now it's time to go back to the center so as you can see up at the top he or it whatever you want to call it has a shield but well, we got to get rid of that so that's when you get your tenno out and you start blasting away as you see, as you can see, the shield is now down, and we were able to damage it with our stuff. But once the shield is down, 
you're gonna want to wait for it to get nice and close. Or you're gonna get nice and close. And then press X to grab the Repulist. And now you're gonna need to fly it. So you'll be able to take direction of it and you wanna fly it into one of these things. Just like so. Now if you've done the Eidolon hunts and link here, if you haven't, you're going to need to take out one of the Eidolon areas. Now I will tell you this, you want to watch, you don't want to stay too close to it. If you stand too close to that, it will try to grab you. Alright, now that we destroyed it, we have to come on over to here to activate that beam. And now we have to do this again. So, shields are up. Alright, that's done. And now we have to go and grab it. As you can see, I'm purposefully trying to stay away from its hands. Alright, just like that. Alright, and we got one more. Look at us, we're doing great. Alright, now that we have the full thing done, both of the back areas, now it's time for us to actually rip it apart. And we're done. Just like that. Super easy, super simple. Just stay alive. Now after all that wonderful fun stuff, the next one's gonna be on Saturn. General Sargus Ruck. Let's go in and make his day absolutely horrendous. Alright, now once you got to here, the boss fight will begin. Now he has three weak spots on him. And we're about to go through each and every one of them. I suggest using someone who can slow him down. As you can see, there was one spot that was available. You can see it. We gotta go on his arm first. So you wait for it to become available. There it is. And just blast it. Alright, the next spot is going to be on his chest. Or on his back. There it is. And just blast it away. Alright, and the last one is on his back. And all you gotta do and you're done. Now, you do have to survive all of that stuff. Don't get me wrong. Now, the very next planet we're going to is Uranus, and we're gonna be facing against Tyler, Tyler Rigor. It's very easy. I'll show you how. Alright, now once you get to this wonderful spot right here, you're gonna walk on in, and the fun will begin. Now, all you gotta do is smack him around. Now, in between waves, as he's doing right now, there are gonna be two Manix. All you have to do is kill them and then move on with the mission. All right, at this point, he's gonna fire his fists, so you might wanna get up here because he's gonna start flooding the area. Now at this point, these doors are gonna, these uh, pods are gonna open up and this water is gonna be electrified. And now we just need to defend ourselves against the incoming Mannix. Now after you've defeated him, after you've defeated all of them, he comes out for another play at uh, playtime, and you just gotta blast him in the face. Just like so. 
And that's the end of the mission. Moving right along, the next assassinate target is going to be... Hello there. Well, Phobos for right, uh, for right, for right now. But technically, it's supposed to be someone else. But since he's here, let's go pay him a visit. Now, once you've reached this door and gone back into here, just like Captain Vor, he's going to appear. Now, this one isn't a very hard boss. He's very easy. And all you gotta do is just kill him. Just look at that. We're done. Alright, now that we had Phobos done and out of the way with, let's get on with the actual one on Neptune. So this one is called the Hyena Pack. It's very easy, very simple. All you have to do is kill the Hyena Pack. And now that we're in here, let's rip them up. And just like that, again, they weren't too hard, and now we out. This one is called Ambulus. And yes, you will eventually need to defeat this one. In order to do so, as you can see, you will need Ambulus's, or Ambulus Nav Beacons required. Five of them, and I have 116. So I guarantee you I will be able to do this, but you just need five to at least do it once. Let's get out of there. Now, eventually, you will get to a long hallway like this. Without enemies trying to kill you. Now, once you've gone down the hallway, you will come up to a console. Hack it. And you're going to go in there. Now, there's a few people on the way that you can kill, but, you know, just stand in there. And now all you have to do is take it down and then hack into it from the back right here. And now it's time for the best part. You gotta defend it. As you'll see at the top left, you actually want to make sure that you have at least three hacks delivered. And that's what happens when you don't secure it. And now we just wash, rinse, and repeat. A few moments later. And now that we have delivered successfully three hacked ambulances, you can just watch the fireworks. And look at that, we're done. On to the next one. Moving right along, so the next one we're gonna go over is the boss on Sega. Now, this one's called Kayla the Fane, but as you can see, you need judgment points. 25 in order to do Kayla the Fane. And how do you start this, is you'll have to do the arena missions surrounding it, and you'll get points in order to do that. But, let's hop in to show you exactly how this fight's supposed to work. All right, so before we get here, I want to make a note you should definitely be using a flamethrower or a beam weapon or something that has explosion radius on it. And you will see as we go through this, but once you get to here, you're going to go up these. Right into here. Now, do you see these things on the walls? You're going to need to fire at them. So you're going to have to step on this plate. The thing's gonna move. The one that's lit up, like right here, you're gonna need to hit. And you're gonna go between hitting those and hitting Kayla the Thane. And we'll go through a quick rundown right now.
right? So as usual, step on the plate. You can see right there, and you can do this real easy just like this. Now if you don't have a flamethrower, you will have to wait through this stuff. And so since we completed it, now she's going to come back. And just like that, she's dealt with, and now it's time to leave. Congratulations. The following boss is going to be on Europa. It is called Raptor. It's very easy, very simple. Let's go in there. All right, so once you got into this long hallway, you're gonna walk right on into here. And now you're gonna need to follow these pretty easy instructions. You see those waypoints? You're gonna have to drop something in them. You see that bad guy? Well, did you see that bad guy? Grab the thing, walk up to it, before the timer goes off, press Y. Congratulations, you have done it. Do it two more times, and uh, we're good to go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if you do get lucky one-shotting it while it's over those, it'll just fall in on its own. But that's pretty much it. On to the next one. Now the last one we're going to do is not really an actual designated boss fight, but it's the boss of the void before we start going into the other ones. This one is going to be the uh, weird Captain Four. So hold on, it's very easy very simple we go in and kill him when he shows up just like so so at this point he's about to show he's gonna make a big speech and then he's gonna show up and that's when you blast him and there he is now you see that middle area that's where you want to shoot but for me it's not really much of a shoot more like a and he's dead And that's pretty much it. Now he's gonna say, uh, oh, what was me, what was me. And you just wait for the rest of the mission to end, and uh, that's it. On to the next one. And now we're going to return back to Demos, where there is at least two of them here. Now if you're wondering, V, are we going to get this one? The answer is no, I have already made my own video for this one. The link right here. But we are going to go with the very first assassinate mission, Lephantis. So let's dive on into it. Eventually you will come to this doorway right here. Go in it, and here we go. My name is Jeff. So the very thing you will notice is... Things are popping out of the ground. And you're going to need to shoot them. So like that. Shooting the weak spot. And it's done. All right, now that we have destroyed all three heads, Oh wait, oh god, there's more. Uh, guys, <laughs> we're getting the bigger gun. Yep, nope, time for bigger gun.
And just like that, the mission's done. Now you can go through over here and then go through the elevators, but normally if you're already in here, what you can do is you can tunnel out well and up here. Moving right along, we have one more boss that is on Deimos. And it is the Zeloid Prelat. This one's actually very interesting, so pay, pay very close attention. Alright, once you have come to this very nice area, we now get to fight this thing. And now he's gonna do some weird things. Don't worry though, I got your back. So you see, we can't damage them, but they can damage us. So we're gonna have to go to the area marked. Now, there is gonna be a guy marked, as you can see, and we're gonna have to go after him. And how will you know the guy is marked? Well, Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy we're looking for. Alright, and next we're just going to pick this thing up. And now we can damage other things. So we have to bring this back to the other guy in the center. So this guy? Yeah, he's not going to be able to be damaged. Well, if I can find him. So right after you take part of his health and you get knocked down, the screen goes black, the screen will then come back up and you'll have a bunch of enemies you will have to kill. Now if you do not kill these things, they will heal the boss. So kill them as quickly as you can. And now we just wash, rinse, and repeat. Alright, and then once that's done, now it's time to leave. Alright, the last two on the list is Mutilus Allied V and the Jorgas, the Jordis Golem. We're gonna go with the easiest one, Needle Stalad V. Now I say the easiest because it's... Uh... All right, now when you got to this lovely room, step inside. Now this is a very interesting mission. He is going to take control of one of your Warframes. Also, you see that? Uh, whenever his collar is off of him, is when you're able to attack him. And just like that, he's done. Now it's time to leave. Alright, and the very last one is going to be the Jordis Golem, which is a Arc Wing mission. So make sure you equip your favorite arc wing and arc gun, and let's get on into this. All right, now once you've found this area right here, now it's time to get on in there. By the way, this is like a bigger, larger uh, juggernaut. But we're not done. So the very first thing you're going to notice is if you start damage or trying to damage it head on, you're going to get no damage whatsoever. But if you get behind it and start shooting at its engines, that is when you'll be able to damage it. Just make sure you dodge any and all incoming attacks or any in incoming enemies and you'll be fine. It's a very straightforward mission. That's pretty much it of that. Now don't get me wrong, after doing all of this stuff I've gotten um, we're just going to call a lot of death threats. 
Oh wait, I'm missing one. <laughs> you thought you would escape. All right, so this one's actually very simple. It's the sergeant. Let's just show you. All right, so once you get to here, it's very easy, very simple. Do you see him? Yeah, I neither did I. That's it. Like, that's it. That's him. That was it. Okay, everyone, go home. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay villainous. Goodbye.